Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss further detailing of the non-uniform doping in the semiconductor material. So, in the non-uniform doping we have already discussed that the impurity concentration will be varying with respect to the length of the semiconductor. So in that case we know that if this is a semiconductor bar we have already discussed that if this is x equals to 0 and if this is the x axis and in this x axis the length is varying and if this region is highly doped that is the high concentration of impurity and this region that is the right region is lightly doped that is low concentration of impurity then the band diagram that we have seen will look like this the band diagram will have a tilted band diagram this is the maximum energy of the valence band EV this is the minimum energy of the conduction band EC and in the middle there will be the Fermi level of the intrinsic material that is EFI and the Fermi level of the doped material if it is donorly doped then it is EFN. In this case we have assumed that we have doped N type dopant. That's why the Fermi level I have written EFN. If we have doped with P, P type dopant then the Fermi level will be in below the EFI. Now this has happened due to the induced electric field that has been developed due to the non-uniform doping. So in this case we have seen that an electric field has been induced due to the non-uniform doping. Since the electric field has been induced due to non-uniform doping, we can say a electric potential energy will also be developed. So we can write that the electric potential phi will be equals to the electron's potential energy and the electron potential energy here can be written as phi equals to EF or EFN minus EFI. We, are, we have denoted this EF by EFN in the diagram. I am using only EF. So it will be divided by Q. So electric field for one dimensional. So if I consider the one dimensional situation, then we can write that EX. X means in this direction. So EX can be written as minus d phi by DX. And if I derive in this fashion, if I put the value of phi, so it will be EF minus EFI divided by Q. So it will be 1 by Q into D by DX EFI. So further we know that small n that is the electron concentration is equals to Ni exponential. EF minus EFI divided by KT 
will be equals to the doping concentration in D, which is a function of x. Now, if I put the value from this equation, so from this equation, if I want to find the value of EF minus EFI, so first we will find this EF minus EFI. So if I find this EF minus EFI, it will be KT ln ND x and the derivative will be there d by dx. Further, if you want to find d efi by dx, then you have to put the derivative of this equation. For that case, we have to put a derivative. So, if we find the derivative of this equation, then it will be minus d of e f i divided by d x will be equals to k t by n d function of x d by d x into n d function of x. So, from this equation we can find the value of the electric field that has been developed in the x direction and it will be minus kt divided by q into 1 by nd into x and d into ndx divided by dx. So, this will be the electric field that is induced in the x direction and the most important thing is that due to non-uniform doping there will be an electric field and a potential difference produced throughout the semiconductor and this is the value of the electric field that has been produced due to non-uniform doping. So this is all about the electric field that has been developed inside the semiconductor throughout the length of the semiconductor due to non-uniform doping. Thank you.